Hey Benjamin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Excuse me. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello, hello. I can hear you. Hi, can you hear me now? No. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. Usted me escucha? Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Perfect. No problem. Oh, hello, Arely. How are you? Good evening. Hello. Me estaban esperando. No. Excuse me. Estuvieron esperando mucho, no. No espero mucho. No, no, no. Ah, ok, good. Hello, Claudia. Hello, ¿qué tal? Good, good. Bien, ¿y usted? Good. Ok, that's nice. Ok. Benjamin, no problem, everything is ok. Excuse me. ¿Todo bien? Ok, excellent. Good. Good. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we have here um, Javier, Claudia, and we have Erli. Let's see some topics. Teacher. Yes. Um, yesterday, I um, bore my son. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Wow. How happy you are. Huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> Very hey. happy. It was yesterday. Congratulations. That's good. The king of see my baby. Okay. Uh, until today. Uh, he Tomorrow. Is, he he's is a hospital. No. Uh -huh. a hospital. Yes, he's in the hospital. Okay. Until tomorrow. Um I see I will see um, uh -huh. three days. In three days. Yes. Okay, so that's uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yes. Monday. Okay. But it's okay. It's an eternity. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but everything is okay? Everything is good? Yes, yes. Okay. And your wife? It's okay too. Um, I don't know. I... I am not cold. Eh, eh, con ella no puedo hablar. I haven't talked to her. Yes, I haven't talked to her. Her. Okay. All right. But I hope I hope I know everything is is good. Okay. But it's um congratulations. You know, it's good that you have your son, and hopefully your wife is okay too. Okay. Thank very you. nice. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Good. Then uh, we have today, well, we're going to review a little bit there. You know, we finish with the materials. Today we have at the end of the lesson, comprehend, yes, comparative adjectives. We're going to repeat this video. 
And then we're going to Okay. At this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone. As I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in our discussion box. Okay. There, we use the adjective in its comparative form. Okay, remember those are the... To study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay. What is cheap? Cheap is the opposite of expensive. For, exa uh -huh. For example, when you have a, a car, it's expensive and a motorcycle is cheap. Okay, so if you if you want to buy uh, transportation, it's better uh, a motorcycle because it's cheaper. Okay, Let's see what else only. And then we have here the preferences. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. 
To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay. Este, cuando le agregamos er, mm -hmm. es como agregándole el más. New. Sí, yes. Adjective that's correct. discussion box. That's, that's correct. Uh, I have here, just let me confirm this. Yes, there are some comparatives here, but yes. But first, now let me show you. Teacher, um, uh -huh. the the word cheap, uh -huh. eh, se podría decir como usado, no usado es otra palabra. Usar. Usado, por ejemplo, una camisa usada. Ah, oh, no, no, no. No eh, se puede ocupar cheap. No. Eh, the thing is that sometimes people use the word eh, cheap in a peyorative or despective way. Right, oh, but uh, yeah. say for example, uh, I he's so cheap. So it's like, so it's como que él es barato, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Bajero, bajero, we would probably say in Spanish, but it's una forma bien <laughs> despectiva de hablar, right? Uh, okay. But in English, no. In English, you say for example, something that is cheap is because suppose if I have a shirt that is uh, ten dollars, it's cheap. It's cheap. Uh -huh. a, ch a shirt. But if you, but probably it looks nice, okay, nice, but you know, yeah, but if you have a, a used, uh, for example, second hand, second hand uh, shirt, probably could be $5, okay, but in good conditions, that's very cheap, okay, it's cheap, a uh, used, uh, used uh, shirt is cheaper than a new shirt, okay, a used car, is cheaper than a new car, a brand new car. If you go to, I don't know, to Didea, Sakiro, maybe, uh, and buy a Excel, and you buy a new car, is twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars. Okay, then you buy a car in in the usados, in the used cars, and then it's five thousand dollars. It's cheaper. Okay, it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, when you talk probably, you know, in a pejorative or despective form, yes, you, you can use chip, but it's not recommendable, okay? Okay. It's not okay. good. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, but here you can see, for example, the, the, the different forms, you know, that you can use, for example, you say ER, like you say, right? is more right here you can see er is more and then you have for example the tall old young fast pretty heavy and then you have er then here then you have 
Paul. Taller. Uh -huh. Taller. Taller. Okay, so you can have here also uh, older. Okay, you have here all. And then we have here older. Okay, so we have all older. older. Young, younger. 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 Uh -huh. Fast. Fast. Farther. Then you have John. Younger. Then you have faster. Faster. Uh huh. Faster. So you see, and this is when you say, for example, more. Okay, but it's not correct to say more tall, more old, more young, more fast, no. You say younger, faster, taller, older. Okay, okay. this is the correct form. Okay, uh, here, for example, if you see only the, if the N is with E, you have later. Okay. Later. Mm -hmm. uh, only add R. Only add R. Uh -huh. And here you have big. Here you have big. Plus G. <laughs> Uh -huh. You have B, and then you have double G, Why, teacher. because of this combination. And then you see N consonant or word consonant. Uh-huh. Ah, when the Con adjective L. Uh -huh. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Uh-huh, exactly. W, the last consonant. Exactly. For example, you have consonant, vowel. Uh, vowel, consonant. And then you have consonant again. This combination, vowel, I mean consonant, vowel, consonant, then you have the double consonant. Uh, in this case, no. For example, if you have clean, in this case, no. Clean. Okay, clean. No. No. Because, uh, because uh -huh. consonant, w consonant, uh -huh. consonant, consonant, vowel, vowel, and then consonant. You see, it's different, right? It's different. Mm -hmm. Here we have consonant, vowel, consonant. And here we have consonant, consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant. It's correct, it, cleaner. In this case, it's only cleaner. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna use here, cleaner. Okay? The best, uh, when you uh, two adjectives only add uh, ear or the other case. Uh -huh, like this one. The majority is only ER. Okay, and then there are these exceptions, right? The double consonant, for example, happy. Here you see happy. the Y. For I E R. Teacher, um, 
you can uh, give a, a other example in the consonant, vowel consonant. Other example. Think about one. Other example. Pienso en otro. ¿Qué otro sería? Vamos a ver. Adjectives. Adjectives. <laughs> Think about one. Uh, eh, fat. Oh. Okay, that's another one. Pero solo se agrega a las palabras de tres letras. O, o pueden haber palabras que se le puede agregar ER, teacher. Quiero yes, que sea de más letras. Eh, yeah. En first, in first uh, ruler. No, this ones. These are the ones mostly. Uh -huh. Father. Yes, because these are the ones that finish with, um, let's say, the, the other examples. Mostly because this is, remember that is only the consonant, vowel consonant. These okay. are the examples that we have. Mm -hmm. Oops, wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back here. Try to think about another one. Mm. Oh. Think up first. Think about the adjective. Uh, hot. Hot. Okay. Hot. Very good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's that's a pencil in English. Hot, hotter. Uh huh. What else? That one that you have? Remember that it has to be monosyllable and that finish with uh, consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay, that's the uh, that's the the rule, right? So okay, because okay. if it if it doesn't have those two elements, then for example, remember that you have cheap, clean. For example, no aplica because it's only monosyllable, but it's consonant, consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant. Usually, these three. Okay. And okay. fit. Uh, fit. fit. Which one? No, fit, f, a. It's a that's a bit. This one? Oh, uh, no. No, fit. no. Fit. Oh, I am fit. Fit. <laughs> fit. Oh, fit, huh? Yes. Ah, yes, fit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Arely is an intelligent. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's good. Fit, fitter. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see, then this is the rule, right? And then you remember it, that's the way you have to write it. Okay. Okay. New teacher. Yeah. Which one? New. Ah, okay, very good. New, but new, what happens with new? Yes. New. 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 Newer. Newer. Because in English, the W, the W is like a, in the sound in this case, is similar to 
a vowel. New. Okay. Then it will be consonant, vowel, vowel. Mm, okay. El sonido, the sound, right? The okay. sound. New. 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 Okay. Oh, uh -huh. It's a consonant. It's not a consonant sound. New. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Then, por eso bueno pensar en other adjectives, other ideas is good. What else? Oh, I stop. Which one? Stop, teacher. Ah, stop, but stop is okay, but it's a verb. Eh, oh. Ese se le aplica una, una, una regla que sí es similar para los verbos irregulares. Se dice stop, se pone stopped. Pero es similar la regla, stopped. Okay. But this one is a verb. Mm -hmm. It's not an adjective. Yes. Okay, so then we have happy, happier. And then you have, for example, well, these are, you know, this variations is the adjectives. So I say when, probably, you know, we can use all at once. Okay. For example, more modern, more pleasant, more expensive, more intellectual. Uh, remember yesterday we say beautiful. Okay, what else? Comfortable. Okay, comfortable. Then you're gonna use more. More modern, more expensive. More comfortable. Comfortable. Comfor comfortable. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes, comfortable. more comfortable. There you go. Okay, so then you have, for example, when it's monosyllable. Okay, when you have a monosyllable. Okay, and when you have tall, old, older, young, pretty, heavy. They're going to use it. And in, in the word intelligent, more. They use more. Yes. When it's, when it's three syllables, intelligent. Four syllables is more. Is Be more. Beautiful. More beautiful. Comfortable. Comfortable. That's three or four is more. Okay. Uh, like in this case, modern. Pleasant. Then you're going to use more. In intellectual, expensive, okay, beautiful. In these cases, you're gonna use more, okay? And then you have some other cases here. For example, you can write here a, a car is more than Comfortable than a motorcycle. Okay. A house is 
bigger than an apartment. Okay. My son is taller than a is a, let's say his uh, friend. Okay. Okay. These are some examples that you can use. See, you see, we're using more. If we are using bigger than. De cuantas sílabas, es que no escuche muy bien, teacher. You say come. De tres en adelante. Come for, uh -huh, come for a ball. Like three or more. Uh -huh, let me see. Let me write one here for you, Benjamin. My, eh, let's say my, 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 what? My roses are more beautiful. More beautiful than what? Than, 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 than sunflowers. Los girasoles. Then here you have view. One syllable. Yeah. T, three. Okay. And some, and in some cases, uh, some Benjamin, uh -huh, you have, uh, um, let's say his house is more modern than my house. Okay, in this, uh, in this case it's two syllables. Okay. De las dos en adelante se usa more, pero hay algunas excepciones, right? Como, okay. como, 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 como happier, por ejemplo. Happy. Es de dos. Sí, la uh -huh. Uh -huh. But en ese caso es happier. Pero se puede usar también more happy. Okay, oh, hay, alguna, okay. hay algunas excepciones. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Have your... Depend on context. Eh, depends on the context y hay que un poquito a poco uno la va conociendo, cuáles son, porque son como exceptions, right? Son excepciones, no hay muchas. Okay. Por ejemplo, hay que, se dice more handsome para lo, una persona, un hombre que es simpático, dice more handsome, pero hay quienes pueden usar handsomer. Entonces uno se, acost more. se acostumbra a usar la más común, ¿va? que es por lo, por lo general more handsome. Okay. Entonces, por ejemplo, yeah, people use that one when you say cruel. Some people say crueler, pero la mayoría usa, usa more cruel, como más cruel. Entonces es como agarrar la más común, aunque gramaticalmente existan dos formas en algunos casos. Okay. El inglés en ese sentido, como no hay una... Eh, Real Academia del Idioma, como en español. Eh, no, existe ex, no, more eh, exceptions. Ah, hay más, hay más excepciones. Ajá. Okay. Porque ahí los que rigen son eh, Oxford, los de Oxford que son los ingleses, y, okay. y que es el otro, Marian Webster, y Webster que es en América. O sea, son como dos diccionarios. ¿no? No es como la Real Academia Española, que es una sola, la que dice así es y así es. Una vez escuché eh, la, la palabra uh, I can, I can, no, uh -huh. I can, I uh -huh. can, yo puedo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, eh, a group the musical eh, decían, hay. 
I can, I can, eran de Inglaterra. Uh -huh. That's correct. Entonces, y, y a mí me lo habían enseñado siempre, I can. Uh -huh. Entonces yo cuando escuché I can, yo decía, ¿y por qué dicen así? Decía yo. Sí, no, eh, I remember that, eh, for example, the British English es como el español, de España o el castellano. Hay diferencia en nuestra pronunciación. Nosotros nos decimos Cecilia. Okay. Ah, Nosotros decimos Cecilia. Right? Mm. Entonces, este, así hay ciertas diferencias, en, incluso en escritura, en inglés. Eh, oh. For example, you say, uh, color is American and color is British. ¿Qué es eso? American and British. Británico. Uh -huh. Color. Okay, color and color. Mm -hmm. color. So there are, for example, you say apartment. Apartment y flat. This is americano y este es británico. Mm. Wow. Y en, en, en español decimos apartamento y en España dicen piso. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, entonces ese es el flat. Cuando dicen en español, cuando los españoles dicen piso, voy a rentar flat. un piso, es un flat. flat. Es que nosotros rentamos un apartamento. Right? Eso no lo sabía, es nuevo para mí. You know, I, 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 there are many differences, right? There are many differences. Uf. But it's similar in Spanish. Eh, la forma en que hablamos en Latinoamérica, too. Cosas que aquí se dicen de una manera, en Colombia se dicen de otra. Exactly. Son ciertas palabras, right, that change, okay, not everything. Mm -hmm. so, uh -huh, there are exceptions, according to, the, according to the region. Ahí en el contexto, ahí es regional. Okay. Depend, uh, uh, depends on the region. Mm -hmm. Okay. Por ejemplo, eh, okay. en el mismo Estados Unidos está la palabra behind. Behind. Pero hacia el norte, la gente dice behind. Y es lo mismo. Behind, behind. Behind. behind, uh -huh. behind que es detrás. Uh -huh. Pero en... las dos formas están bien. Sí, claro. Yes. Eh, teacher, uh -huh. eh, en el, el abecedario es I. For me, the, the for correct es behind. The pronunciation. Uh -huh. But in the... This is behind. This is behind, behind. Yes. That's, este es más al norte, la behind. Y hacia el sur de los Estados Unidos, behind. Behind. Yes. Behind. Okay. Well, these are, you know, some differences that, that you can find in the comparative forms, right? It's no. different caliche. Oh, yes. The, the, um, Wait a minute. When when you talk about the uh, idiomatic expressions, and there is also what they call a slang. Okay, the slang. A slang. Este ya sí es más como caliche. Slang. Mm -hmm. Como. What is slang? Like a street language. A street language, It's language uh, not okay. not academic. Oh, okay, okay. A street language. Okay, uh -huh. callejero. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, it's like caliche, right? That we have. It's not really the the academic language that we use. Okay, like a I know what chamos, right? <laughs> then that would be. That would be, you know, in Spanish, probably some caliche, right? Something that is not properly used. Okay, what else? Only? Now let's see the comparisons here. Look at this picture. Okay, remember the materials, right? So here we have the silk, polyester, Polyester. We have a small, medium, cotton, and wool. Okay, this is the, the material. 
the size, the size. and the, the material. material. The material. The material. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now we have a picture here. It says, which dress is the yellow one or the green one? Which dress is pretty yes. or prettier? Um, no, which dress? Which mm. dress is pretty or prettier? Which is the correct one? Uh, pretty, pretty. Prettier? Prettier? Pretty. Mm -hmm. Two okay. dress. The yellow or one. the yellow one or the green one. You have two options. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, the green one is silk. And silk is more expensive than polyester or expensiver than polyester. More expensive, more expensive, more expensive, more right? expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More expensive than. Is than 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 than. Is this blue T-shirt larger than or more larger than? More larger than. This one? Oh. Mm. Yes. No. Them? No. 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 Larger than. Larger, larger than. than. Yeah, because if you say more and larger, it's more more. No. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Only one time. Larger. Yeah. larger. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. No, the red and white one. No, the red and white one is bigger. Bigger. The, the red and white. Bigger. Is bigger. Okay. Look at the pants. Mm -hmm. Which Look. one do you like? Okay. Better. Uh, better. Better. Very good. And the last one? I prefer the green cotton ones. I prefer yeah. the green cotton ones. They are more stylish than. More stylish than. Stylish than. Mm -hmm. More stylish than. More stylish than. Okay, very good. There you go. All of them correct. Mm -hmm. Which one is prettier? Because you have two options. Well, the green one is silk, and the silk and silk is more expensive than. Okay. Uh, is this blue t-shirt larger than? No more larger than, right? Uh, no, the red, white. No, the red and white one is bigger. Look at this pants, which ones do you like better? I prefer the green cotton ones. They're more stylish than. Okay, do you have any questions? We're going to... No, this way. Okay. Now we're going to go to the, a, re, a little uh, check. We're going to check on the, on the test. Eh, ¿Cómo va con la plataforma a todo esto? Vamos. Um, Ahorita lo que procede es ya el, el examen para que ya digamos el lunes estén al día y comencemos ya la segunda parte de, del curso, right? Entonces, acá... Voy a darles una idea de cómo está el examen. Por ejemplo, remember that
Okay. Then here, for example, you have the the audio. Then you open this one here. Okay. You play. And the Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. The recommendation is that you you listen to the audio and then you go to the platform. Listen and check the correct answers. Then you are listening. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's and it going? Pretty good, thanks. And How about are. you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. Okay, so then you listen one time and you mark, okay? The ones that you consider are the correct ones. And then okay. the second time you go back and then you Listen again. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. And Listen then, and check the... Then you correct if you have incorrect uh, answers here. And it, it is good if you listen three times. If you see, they are very short. It's only one minute, more or less. Let's see. Yes, it's one minute, 20 seconds. So in three minutes, you can do the first part. Then you can do the other part in other three minutes other three minutes maybe hey those shirts look not so large or small okay. it's less than a minute so then in do you have three like in six minutes you finish the listening section if you listen to three times each one and it's a good practice for your ear, right? So the, the recommendation is you play the, the audio and read the platform right here. And then after, you, and then you mark. After that, you listen again. And if you see that you have another, no, this one is not this, it's this. No, this one is this. And then you delete this one. You say, no, this is the second one. And then you check, okay? And you do the third time, and in the third time, you reconfirm, okay? You reconfirm what it is correct, okay? This is a tip or a strategy for the listening section. Uh, another thing that you can do is fill in the blanks. Here, it's important that you read the questions. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of B. Here, you're going to use... If you see you, is where are you or where is you? Where are you? Uh -huh. And then you see, they say, where are you? Right? Yes. Then you say, for example, in your class this semester, yes, we're in the same class. Then, for example, is or are yes. David? Yes. Okay, then you will yes. see that it's is, right? Yes. Is yes. David. Then pay attention to all the sentence, right? What is your what is your math class like, or what are your math class like? What are you? What no. What is? What are? No, no, no. What is first? What, what are you is talking? Question. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? De usted, tú, de él, o what? Tú. Tú. Where are your math? Where what? you you are? You. <laughs> Is. Identifiquen el sujeto. 
Aquí es David, right? David. Aquí es you. You. Y acá. Oh. It. It. ¿Cuál es su jefe? Math class. Math class. Math class. Okay. Y math class, si lo cambiamos, si cambiamos David a un sujeto, ¿qué, qué pronombre usaríamos? Sí. Y aquí, you es you, ¿verdad? No yeah. Y aquí, si, si usamos math class, ¿cuál sería? It. 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 Y para it usamos is or. No. Is. It is. What is, is you? Is. Ajá, what is your. Mm -hmm. Ok. What is. Ok, vieron el proceso mental que hay que hacer, ¿verdad? Ustedes identificar okay. el sujeto. Ok, y, esto, y aquí estamos hablando de quién? María. María. Sí. Embrian. Brian. Brian. Ajá. ¿De María y Brian son quiénes? They. 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 Ajá, they. ¿Y para they usamos? Ah. Uh, ok. Only are. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahora, aquí ya no es con is y are. Aquí van a usar do o does. Ok. Pero es similar el proceso. Mm -hmm. Solo yes. recuérdense que para acá estamos hablando que si es you y si es he, ok, vamos a usar, o si es she. Yes. Vean, y aquí, y aquí en las mismas oraciones están las respuestas, miren. Sí. Yes. 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 Right? Where does yes. she? Aquí tendría que ser ya algo that, que está aquí, ¿verdad? Ajá. That, do. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Va. Simple. O sea, si sí necesita tiempo, que se sienten un ratito bien concentrados a hacerlo para... Poder son varias hacer... páginas, ¿verdad? No, son... O sea, pero si ven, son bien cortitas, solo tienen, son ocho, seis, siete. Um... En el anterior ah. igual. O sea, aquí estamos hablando de unos diez más cinco, unos quince minutos. Este de acá, lo mismo, aquí habla de click. Aquí, choose the right possessive adjective. Aquí lo tienen que usar. ¿Cuál es el his, their, or your? Easy. Sí. Ajá. Nice to meet you. Ajá. Y aquí tenemos, son parte dos. Igual son como siete. Son otros cinco minutos. Pero no son como, lo más que tarda en una media hora. ¿Ok? En hacerlas todas. No, not too much. And aquí, here, part two. He choose the proper object pronoun. But acá, tienen que usar, recuerden que los his, their, your son possessive, right? My, your, his, her. Y acá son los, uy, ¿dónde está el dos? Where's number two? Where, okay, here. Acá son los que van después de los verbos. Okay, como cuando decimos, eh, I like it a lot. Me gusta bastante. Por ejemplo, do you like coffee? Yes, I like it a lot. Eh, ¿Le gusta Juan? Yes, I like him a lot. Him a lot. Yes. ¿Le gusta Juana? Yes, I like her a lot. O sea, estos van después de los verbos. I like him, I like it, I like you. Entonces, cualquiera podría ser, pero hay que ver el contexto. Ok. Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. Do you like them? Huh? No, Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. Yes. I like him, it, or you. Him. Him. Him, because we're talking about Johnny Depp. This is he, se hace him. All right. The music videos aren't very interesting. Do you like? Music videos. Them. Okay, there you go. Them. Mm -hmm. Then okay. there you have. See, easy, right? Not so complicated. And hay otro más. Complete the sentences. Instructions filling the gaps with the correct time expressions. Okay. Hey, remember I sleep. Remember at, in, on. At. Uh -huh. And then you have to find here the expressions that you have. If it is days, months, or periods. 
Remember that we used to have uh, in the afternoon, in the morning, in the evening, uh, at noon, at midnight, uh, uh, you say at 10 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, okay? At it on, is good. Hmm? At, at in it on. At in on. Uh -huh. And then you remember the demonstrative pronoun, right? This, that, those, and these, singular and plural. This, oh, okay. this, okay. that, those. Okay, and using. That's it. And the last one is the reading. Es un reading comprehension. Ok. Aquí si tienen que leer esto. Igual les recomiendo que lo, lo abren acá. You open it here, you read it. Y luego se van a las options. Y pueden, las pueden marcar y luego se van a verificar, hacer un scanning. Si lo pueden ampliar acá y sus ojos les funcionan bien. A mí esto me marea. <laughs> okay, I prefer to open this one. O a veces lo acabo incluso separo las dos ventanas, right? You can separate the window, right? And have the two windows in the computer. Okay, la que mejor les funcione. Okay, good. And here you have, you only have uh, four questions. And you have the options. You read and select the option. Okay. Y el, si tiene alguna duda, algún problema de plataforma, me avisan en el fin de semana para poder ver si, si, cómo se les ayuda. Y, y el lunes podemos revisar entre todos el, el examen. Okay. 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 Ya vieron que no está difícil. Y, Dicho la cuestión. Yes, y, el, y el, el, la otra semana ya comenzamos con la sección 4. Ya ahora nos quedan dos secciones. Aquí este, para las próximas dos semanas, esta la vemos la otra semana y en la última semana la sección 5. Ok. Yes. Uh -huh. es, en eh, las primeras dos secciones había, había examen también. <risa> eh, no. Ah. Es, sec, section 1, 2 y 3. Ajá. Se hacen en dos semanas y el examen. Y a las 4 y 5 van las van solas para el último examen. Okay, okay. Es, ya solo es de esas unidades. Ajá, Benjamin. Um, the, the sentence, bon appetit, why use the, the, the USA? Mm -hmm. the, which why, one, can you repeat, please? The bon appetit. Uh -huh. Use uh, I I I hear I like use in the USA. Uh -huh, like enjoy your meal. Como buen provecho. Yes yes yes. Uh -huh, yes. ¿Por qué por qué la usan? O sea, porque eh, no es en inglés la palabra. <laughs> es un es un anglic, no, eso es un galicismo, I guess. En inglés la llaman borrowings. Son como palabras prestadas de otros idiomas. Eh, pero la, pregunta, la otra frase que ellos usan es enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Ajá, uh -huh. like buen provecho. Right. Bon petit, bon petit is in French. Ok. Oh. But in Spanish, cuando uno ve a alguien comer, dice, hey, enjoy your meal. Or enjoy. Enjoy your meal means. Disfruta. Ajá, uh -huh. like disfrute su almuerzo. And we say okay. buen provecho. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Okay, people, then I uh, will see you on Monday, all right? Okay. So have a very nice weekend. Okay, take care. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Have a nice Bye, Claudia. Bye, Javier. Bye, Javier. Bye. 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 Bye.